but welcome to painting one. My name is Kristen Haas and I'm the instructor for the course. Because this class is being offered online, I want to show you how to get onto our website and a few other things. This is Oakton's website, oakton.edu. Familiarize yourself with this page. Know where you can find all the important information that you're going to need, semester deadlines, scholarships, things like that. Just take a look around if you haven't already. Um, but I'm going to start up here at My Oakton and get signed in. If this is your first semester at Oakton, your sign-in information came with your admissions packet. But if you're not sure, there's an ID lookup right down here. And I've also linked this down in the description box for this video. Now, before we get to our course page, I just want you to sign up for this over here. It's called Alert Oakton. Um, and this is where the school, if there's an emergency, the school is going to contact you however you tell them to. But usually they send out a text, a voicemail, and an email if there's ever any kind of an emergency. So just make sure that you're signed up for that. And then just click up here where it says email. Um, you might already be set up, and in that case, it'll just say email. If you're not set up yet, I think it'll say set up my email, something like that. Um, and you'll just want to go ahead and get your email all set up. Okay. Uh, now to get into our course page, you go over here on the left where it says My Courses, click on that. And it says My Courses, Course List, Select Terms. So, and then you go and find your course. It should open right up for you to our home page. Um, there's a couple of other ways that you can get onto this course page. Um, and one of them is just by going to d2l.open.edu. And that's more of a direct link. You can just sign in from there. You don't have to start at open.edu first. Um, and then the other one is to go through the app. So I'm going to link down below in the description here um, how to download the app. The app is actually called Pulse. Um, so you're going to hear these names kind of interchangeably. Pulse, Daylight, Brightspace, Desire to Learn. Um, I just call it D2L, Desire to Learn. Um, so that's the easiest way for me. Okay, so right when you get signed in, you are going to land at the home page for the course. Um, so this is the first page that you're going to see each time you log on. Notice the announcements section here. It says announcements right here. Um, this is where I'll regularly be posting new information, updates, uh, reminders, any important changes. I'll post all that kind of stuff here. Um, and I do rely on you checking this area at least two times per week just to stay informed. I'll always announce when I add something new so that you don't miss it. Um, if you do download the app, you're going to get a push notification. Um, if you're logged in, you're going to get a little orange dot on this bell here. That means you have an update in one of your courses. Um, but if you're logging in regularly, you're not going to miss anything. I put everything in this announcement section. Um, the announcements are organized blog style, so all of the newest information will be at the top. And you can always scroll down to see older posts. Besides announcements on this page, you're going to see your course calendar. Um, of course, detailed information will be found elsewhere, but this is just a quick and convenient way for you to see all of your due dates at a glance. You can scroll through that. Here's where you can uh, work on your portfolio. Uh, I'm sorry, your profile. Um, and that's how you would get like your picture up here. Click on portfolio. Uh, sorry, click on profile. Uh, you can put a picture up, you can tell us a little about yourself. Um, there's like questions down here, favorite music, books, TV shows, and fill all that out um, just so that we can get to know each other a little bit better. Okay. I sent out an email on Wednesday. It was like a pretty lengthy message about like outlining the format of this course. So make sure you go back and review that if you need to, but it's talking about how the class is asynchronous, it's online, we never meet on Zoom, we never meet in person. Um, all of the work is up to you to complete, get it turned in, and I give you feedback. You may or may not have your supplies yet. Um, either way, I suggest that you just jump right into the course. Again, there's a lot to do. Um, so let's begin. This is our course homepage, painting one. Okay, and then we're just going to start by going through these navigation bars. We're going to start with content and just make our way across. If you click over here on the course schedule, this is going to give you all of your due dates. Just click on full schedule. 
And this is just if you want like an at a glance view of everything that's due, just click this little carrot to minimize everything. Um, but you can see for the next seven Thursdays, you have something due. This is where you're going to find all of the course materials. So it'll I think automatically start you off wherever you ended. So um, it'll begin with the start here module. So the top is just an outline and then all of the course materials are stacked down here. Okay. It always has the due date up at the top here, uh, June 17th. So that's this Thursday. Um, so go through all this. This is um, the start here module is pretty much all of the things that we would be getting done in class during that first like day or first week. Um, so it goes through, you know, you guys will introduce yourselves, go through the syllabus. Um, this is really important here. It's kind of like a sub module. Uh, that's why it looks a little different, but it says Oakton Student Resources. So when you click on that, this is where you can find, you know, I just went through the Oakton website and anything I thought would be helpful for you guys or things that I, uh, you know, send students to usually throughout the school year, I just put a link up here. So uh, make sure you visit this first one, CARES Act. It's funding for students uh, during COVID. Um, and then this one too is really important. I put these two at the top, remote student services. So you guys all still have, you know, free access to health services, counseling, um, all the things that you normally would have, Oakton has made remote. And then you, you jump right into painting. So you'll set up your workspace, you'll set up your supplies, you'll start mixing paint. Um, and for those of you, like I said, if you don't have your supplies yet, just still jump in, still watch all the material. You can always just paint when your supplies arrive. Okay, so just click on each one. And I think um, it might automatically give you a check mark when you clicked on it, or you might have to manually do it, but this can be helpful um, to just kind of keep track because there is a lot of stuff. So go through this first module. And then once you complete all of these tasks, click over to module 1A and you can begin the course. You can jump ahead if you like, but um, I pretty much designed it to be done in order. Um, so module 1A, you just go back over here to this left-hand side, and here's module 1A. And um, you're gonna see all these modules here. The module, num the module number refers to the week number. So since we're in week one, um, we have module 1A, B, C, and D all do this Thursday. Again, it's a lot, a lot, a lot of information. I don't take off points for late work. Um, it's a lot, <laughs> but we have to get it done. So module 1A, we're gonna start off with value. And you're just gonna paint a, a pretty simple still life, um, but you'll go through all of the learning objectives. And then again, they're just stacked down here below. And then you'll click on module 1B, learn about space, how to get the illusion of space in painting. Module 1C, again, this first module, there's a lot going on. You have to get acclimated to the course, the procedures, all that, um, and then you have to like start painting. So like I said, just jump into the class right away. Some of the modules have discussion forums where you guys um, look at each other's work, comment on each other's work, things like that. Um, so make sure you like read all this. Sometimes there's a video and you have to respond to that. Sometimes there's a prompt, you have to respond to that. Um, there's way more discussions in the beginning of the course because again, you're like just getting acquainted with painting and each other and online. Um, so they're meant to just help keep you on track, um, but they kind of taper down a lot as the semester goes on. And then assignments, um, like I said, everything is in the content section, but if you wanted to see everything, um, you could. You can open each one of these up it's going to look different for you. Let me get into student mode. So you'll see once you submit um, any of the assignments, they'll go right into here. Um, you'll see your score and then it like automatically links over to grades. So you can always know what your grade is at all times. Always email me. Just message me if you have any questions about like my feedback or the grade you received, especially if you're um, not agreeing with like the feedback or the grade, just email me so that we can figure it out together. Um, but yeah, this is all of the assignments. There are 
13 exercises and those all are like like mini projects um, and then there's seven projects and then one portfolio so in the first module I talk about the portfolio but that's like um, documentation of all the work you do during the semester so try to get in the habit early of um, taking photos taking videos writing down things that you learned all that kind of stuff for your portfolio um, but it all adds up to 100 points and like if you go over to grades it'll um, like always tell you your percentage like your current grade I think is at the bottom well maybe it's not populated yet um, so yeah here's the 13 assignments or 13 exercises and then the seven projects and then the portfolio adds up to 100 so you can either click on assignments or grades and always know your grades so that's nice um, we don't really use checklist class list is exactly what it says it is you guys can message each other at any time if you see a little green dot next to the person's name um, that means that they're online now and you can send them an instant message so you just click this and then instant message and it should just pop up um, like if you guys want to talk to each other or you're waiting for like a response from me or something you're not clear on something you want to ask the class go ahead you can either you know message everybody you can email instant message whatever and then finally the last thing on here is rubrics so those 13 exercises and seven projects in portfolio all come with a rubric. Um, but if you wanted to see all of the rubrics at a glance, for whatever reason, you could see them all here. Um, and let's just open one up and just see what one looks like. This is for project two. This is in a few weeks, next week, I think. Um, but after you read all of the learning material, um, you'll notice that all of these phrases are inside the learning material. So it's a good idea to maybe read the rubric first to know like what you're looking for to get out of the assignment. And then um, as you're going through the material, make some notes and then just make sure that you cover all of your basis on um, the rubrics, okay? So that's really it. Um, you have to just kind of dig in and jump into the material on your own to really get acquainted. That was just like a real basic overview of what's going on, but make sure that you read um, the syllabus and let me know if you have any questions, read through your supply list, let me know if you have any questions, um, and then read through D2L, just get acquainted with it and know how to navigate and let me know if you have any questions. Um, I'm really looking forward to the course. This is the first time that I'm teaching this course um, over the summer. So I taught it um, last fall and last spring, both asynchronously online. So um, it's a bit of a change for me as well to have it this accelerated. Um, so I feel you guys, you guys can do it. We can all do it together. Um, just remember about those due dates, you know, you're scheduled to have due dates on Thursdays. Don't beat yourself up if you don't get it in on time one Thursday. I know it's going to be impossible sometimes for you to get all of the material done in one week. Like it's a lot. So, um, get it in when you can, just don't fall too far behind. Like if you um, start to fall behind, probably by the end of next week, I'll probably reach out and just make sure that you're all good um, and that you're going to get it done. Because uh, there is a point in the semester, I think it's like mid or early July, where we have to report back to the school and just let them know like how all the students are doing. Um, and there also are like drop deadlines. Like if we, like if the instructors don't hear from students by us, you know, if they don't, if they see that they haven't like logged on or they haven't turned in material, then we have to like, if we can't get a hold of you, like report it to the school. So just try to, as much as you can, stay on top of it. Everything is um, technically due on that last day, June, I think 29th. Um, but if you just stick with the Thursday schedule as best you can, it'll feel a lot more spread out. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm looking forward to seeing how this goes and meeting you guys through your introductions and through your paintings. And let's have a great summer.